Ah, hello and welcome to the Vintage TV and Wireless Company in Norwich. Um, today we're going to show you um, how we get into initially the Bush TV22 um, and then obviously as things progress we'll start showing a little bit more um, what you're going to find when you open up and look inside. But as we start we're going to uh, turn the set on its side and remove the uh, these knobs at the front which you need to do from underneath. So let's just turn it on our side. Right, as you can see, we've carefully placed the telly on the side. Um, you will just have to probably loosen a few of these bolts up um, just a little bit to make this loose, which we've done here, like the bottom one to do. Uh, like so, pull that back very slightly. And you can then see you've got access holes in here and down here. Let's move the light a bit. Um, now, it's really hard, if not impossible, to see where the actual... Um, Screw heads are on here. If I get the light in there, you'll be able to see it. Even I can't see it. Um, so, you sometimes better off if you're not sure where you're looking. Um, get a little torch in there. Um, I've done a few now, so I get to know where the, where the bolts, uh, the securing bolts for the, the knobs actually are. Um, so, yeah, have a look through those. You'll take those off before we go anywhere else. Right, now we can see that the uh, the front brightness and a volume knob have been removed. Now we can go ahead, pop the telly back on its uh, on its base, and uh, we'll then go about removing the cabinet. And here we are at the back of the telly, uh, little bush. Um, you can see there is um, retaining screws here, which hold the back on. Um, one's missing. It's not uncommon. Um, so we'll just go ahead and take those screws out. There's also the three that were underneath. I initially undid to take the knobs off you'll need to remove those as well but these those underneath have now been removed um, so it's just these four um, bolts around here which I'll now remove and then we can get the back off once you've got the uh, screws out the back we can then take the actual back panel uh, back cover off so just carefully pull this down um, you'll notice that the focus lever on this particular set has broken that normally would stick it, uh, stick through here um, so you might have to, if it's still present, just sort of bend that out of the way to get it out um, and then we get to here and carefully with a pull and there is the back panel and the base removed um, so the extra we'll do is just to remove here, here and this one and the same on this side and there's also an earthen wire up here um, that needs to be removed well, that's actually loose but um, that would normally need to be removed as well uh, loosened off uh, and then we'll be able to pull the actual chassis from the cabinet now with those four screws that I showed you on the back removed um, you turn the telly around very carefully because the cabinet is now loose to the chassis um, and then withdraw the uh, Bakelite cabinet from the actual chassis itself it's going to be a little bit tricky for me to do uh, one-handed but I'll um I'll show you here you can see as you start to pull the cabinet forward the insides are revealed So here we are, uh, first time I've even seen inside this set, um, it's a customer set which we're restoring for him. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's had a fairly hard life, it's, it's rather grubby at the minute. Um, a lot of very old tired components, um, crispy wires especially around the mains dropper. Um, this section obviously gets very hot. So all this rubber wire has completely perished. Various capacitors on here I had it. Um, this is the frame, time based panel, and also some part of the um, HT smoothing and some droppers in there. So that's that size. And here's just the uh, little audio condenser, um, coupling condenser, and inside here is the line output stage which includes the um, the main rectifier and boost diode, the line output valve itself, which again you can see um, is completely perished and, and gone crispy. Um, so that will all have to be replaced. We'll check the um, LMS the Spider. He's long since gone. Um, we'll check the uh, line output transformer too and replace the, uh, the EHT cable here, which goes up to the EHT cap 
on the uh, tube itself. So first job I'm going to do is now turn the, um, the set on its side, give it a bit of a, uh, a vacuum, um, and then we'll uh, take the small receiver part of the deck out, which is the bottom chassis, and have a look at that. And, um, and then once we've got that out, we can then start replacing capacitors. Um, because we, uh, we've we've done so many of these sets, we know um, that, that, that you know all of the capacitors will need replacing in this to make it stable and um, tell you this worthwhile uh, to, to to use. Okay, right. Let me get the um, the other chassis out. <laughs> 